cold out here. I don't know if you can see the steam. I don't think the camera's picking up the steam coming off the water. But here's what we're going to do. The solar kettle is a whole nother experiment. That's a bottle of kombucha that I have out here. So what's going to happen is my daughter wanted to dye her hair blue. So we let her dye her hair blue. But when she was wearing her ponytail, when she was wearing her ponytail, it got blue on her volleyball shirt for pink out day. So we're going to see if some soap can get the stain out. And here's the hair dye she used. Her hair is like a light brown to a dark blonde. And so we use this fantasy semi-permanent conditioning hair color. And it works really good on, on light brown, dark blonde hair. So when you're dealing with stains, you don't want to use a detergent. You want to use a soap. All right. So you can use some Fells naphtha. And these no longer have naphtha in them anymore. You can use a soap like Zope. Not a detergent, a soap. And here's another, another one. Or you can make your own soap. I made a soap. I made a soap powder here using lye and coconut oil. Coconut oil based soaps are a beautiful, beautiful soap. That's not for washing your body because you'll, you'll come out ashy. But you can still wash your body with it. Nothing will happen to you. But I make our, our, home, our soap homemade. But I did buy some some of these soaps in case something something goes down and I'm not rendering any fat to make anybody's soap. So I do have some of these guys on hand. And the star of the show will be <laughs> this old washboard that the woman named Wilma, Wilma Snyder, she left us because again, you kids are gonna need this. So I kept her little washboard I don't know if this company is still in business. It's the National Washboard Company. And it says Chicago, Saginaw, Memphis. So, yeah. Her little washboard. Usually small ones like this are for intimates. So, let's put some soap on this hair dye stain and see if we can get it out. All right. So, I got the shirt into this water. And it is warm water. So let's rub this. We'll put some zote on there. So we come up here. I don't know if it'll come out because I've never tried to get hair dye out. I can get mud stains and grease stains, grass stains, blood stains. But I don't know about dye. I think that's all of it. don't want to mess up the the neck of her shirt I don't want it to be all cattywampus but heck it might beggars might not be able to be chewy get my other fills all right I didn't want to up, open up my new pack of fills so I still got my old pack 
Now these two, these two bars will probably go into the camper since they're open. So that way they'll always be in there because we just cleaned out the camper. So now we got to get some more stuff in it, some more winter stuff. In case we got to roll out, we'll have, we'll have bedding, the proper bedding in there. Okay, let's give this a good, and then I will run it through the wash like normal and I will hang it up to dry so that the sun can bleach it. The sun is a great, a great way to bleach stuff. I don't know if I can get it out. I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's get the board to it. Get a little scrub. When I was younger, <laughs> we was we was poor. But we didn't have a scrub, we didn't have a, a washboard. We just filled up the bathtub. Well, my mom filled up the bathtub and she put all the clothes in there. And at the time I thought it was fun. So I just stomp on the clothes. Like I was the agitator, I guess, stomping on the clothes. And my mom would wring out the clothes. And then we would, sometimes if we had a little extra money, we could take them to get them dry. But not always, so we'd hang them up where we could. It's coming out. The blue is coming out. That looks nice. The only thing I worry about is that I stretched out the neck some, but and I told her while she was trying to be cute for volleyball that that ponytail was gonna get on her shirt and it was gonna transfer the blue dye in there but you know 13 year olds can be hard headed she was trying to be cute and next thing you know it's mama can you get this stain out my shirt I really like this shirt mama so even if it doesn't come all the way out it's gonna come out enough Some my laundry powder on that bad boy. Yeah, there we go. This is what we have to do when we go on uh, our national touring, when we do our motorcycle competition. We'll take the washboard in this little basin. Oh, and depending on how muddy it is, this is what we'll do. We'll put the clothes in the bucket and let them soak all the mud off. And we don't, like if we stop at a campsite, we usually try to stop at a campsite at least once because it has laundry services. So we can, you know, get our clothes washed and dry. But I would never put our muddy clothes into someone else's washer. That's not cool, you know, so. we go look at that the blue is almost out you can see a little bit of tangent blue in there but it's almost out it wouldn't have done this with a detergent um, not those spray and wash things but the spray stain removers I've tried those and those didn't work the best thing I've ever used was soap not detergent but soap There's just a little bit of blue. The neck's all crooked on it. Just a little bit of blue right here. And I'm wondering if I will even, I'll go one more scrub. Put some fail. We'll put a little, little bit of zolt. Zolt can be used as, to wash your dishes, to wash your hair, get stuff that's multi-purpose. And don't worry, all soap is made with lye. I'll say it again, all soap is made with lye. But what about glycerin? Glycerin is a byproduct of 
soap that's been made with lye. So it won't say lye on your soap. It'll say like sodium tallowate or sodium cocoa weight, something, sodium something. You know it was made with lye. So, so don't let people tell you that lye soap is bad for you. Because all soap is made, that dial is made with lye. Dove soap is made with lye. Ivory soap is made with lye. Yeah, I think we got it. Got that stain out. This washboard is the truth. Got me out here like Little House on the Prairie. That neck ring. Alright. Alright, so I just wanted to show how I get stains out. I'll do a recipe on how I make how I make soap. I do it two ways, either cold process or hot process. So I'll show you cold process first, and then I'll do hot process. I do it in an old crock pot that I got from a thrift store because I don't want to use things we eat out of to make soap with. Looks pretty good. Just a little bit of blue on the inside, but that's all right. All right. That's about it. Let's rinse that off and I'll show you the end. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a hint of blue, just a little bit, but it's a lot better than what it was. Okay, so I got this shirt off the clothesline. I let the sun bleach it and the blue hair dye came off. That color you see, that's the green chair behind it. See, that's just the, the neck behind it. So the, the blue came off. The neckline isn't too terribly ridiculous. If I just iron it, it should be all right. All right, there we go. Yeah, the neckline, kind of bounced back but I'm really surprised that that blue hair dye came out of her shirt that's what's up okay so always use a soap and not a detergent when you are getting dye out of clothes